Silicon Laboratories Mixed Signal MCUs are changing the way customers think of MCUs and their systems. Hey! I just opened up the MCU newsletter. There's some really helpful information in there. Have you checked it out already? Yes, of course. I always read the MCU newsletter as soon as it hits my inbox. Well, I know that Silicon Laboratories has some pretty good products, but isn't 8-bit old news? What? Customers love 8-bit MCUs. Software can be customized to fit many different applications. 85% of electronic systems use an MCU, often more than one, which is why 8-bit MCUs represent a $5 billion market opportunity. Well, I can see that people would be a little bit hesitant to use 16-bit or even DSPs if they didn't have to. But aren't there a lot of 8-bit suppliers already? Silicon Labs MCUs are different. The fastest MCU with the best analog capability, all in the smallest footprint. Well, I have heard a lot about their analog, but don't the other guys have analog too? Not real analog. Our MCUs have ADCs, DACs, comparators, on-chip oscillators. They have everything. Just go to MySciLabs.com and check it out. MySciLabs.com is your one-stop resource for all of the technical and marketing information you need to sell MCUs. Hey, Doc! I'm glad I stopped. Hey, Keith, look, I know you want to talk to me about MCUs. I got all my MCUs covered. I don't need to talk to you. I'll see you later. Don, Don, Don. Our MCUs are a cut above the rest. You know what I think? I think we can save you money and get your product to market faster. What's so good about your MCUs? They're the smallest, the fastest, and they have the best analog. How fast? 100 MIPS. That means you can take the stuff you're doing in hardware and move it into software. 100 MIPS, that makes that the fastest MCU on the planet. Yes, it does. Can your MCU do that? Well, no, not really, but we've been doing business with all these guys for a long Don, time. Don, 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 it's time for you to take a look at the 21st century MCU. Silicon Laboratories offers the fastest 8-bit MCU on the market. Let me ask you something. Are you using any ADCs from linear technology, Maxim, or analog devices? Yeah, we use some of them 16-bit accessible approximation register kind of ADCs in a few of our boxes. You know that. We have one of those built into our MCU, and it doesn't stop there. We have comparators, oscillators, onboard temperature sensors, the whole works. Silicon Labs MCUs offer a wide range of ADCs, including a 16-bit and a 24-bit Delta Sigma ADC. The on-chip oscillator is calibrated to 2%, which eliminates the need for an external crystal. That's impressive. You think that's impressive? Check this out. This is the smallest package in the industry. Three millimeters by three millimeters. Look right here. That's the one. Let's go get a conference room. We need to talk. Silicon Laboratories offers the smallest MCU packages available. So tell me something. What are you doing right now that uses an 8-bit MCU? Well, we got a lot of different applications. Some of the applications, the MCU was used for the main system processor, and other applications, it's used as a housekeeper to do things like manage the A to D, read the, the keyboard and the displays and things like this. So how important is CPU throughput to your design? CPU throughput? If I have more throughput, then I can have more system features because I can move more of my features into firmware. Take a look at this. Right here we see in the first column of this table the peak mid performance of all of our MCU products. Hey, that 3x3 three three pot that you mentioned, how much memory does that one have? Well, we just move over here to the small form factor section. You see it comes in 2, 4, 8, and up to 16 kilobytes of on-ship flash. Also, if you need more I.O., there's a 4 millimeter square package with 20 pins and a 5 millimeter package with 28 pins. The selector guide is a great reference tool to find which part meets the customer's requirements. Am I reading this right? Is this, is this, this F350, that, that has a 24-bit Delta Sigma converter. Is the, is the reference on that, is that internal or external? Well, let's see. Take a look at the block diagram of the F350 says here that it could use an internal or an external reference. This MCU product catalog includes technical details on every Silicon Labs MCU. It also includes a CD-ROM with the app notes and reference design documentation. Hey, this thing has in-system debug too. That means I don't need no emulator? Don, all of our parts have in-system debug. You don't need an emulator on any of them. That's what makes them so spectacular. So. How do I get a development kit or something? How much is this going to cost? 
Don, let me tell you something. We have the best tools in the industry because of the on-chip debug. If you're not developing some serious code in 20 minutes, I'll cover the cost of the tool. Complete development kits start at only $99. Well, I, I see right away that this is a differentiated product. Your products here, they're smaller, they got better analog, and they're faster. This is another fine mess you got me out of, Keith.